Today's Tuesday Talks for RVers is all about RVs and a lot of them. So today we are headed a little north from wonderful warm Florida. Florida. And somebody now is cold. It's beautiful here, don't get me wrong, but it's cold. How cold? Too cold for me. Below 85. So we're headed a little north to spend some time with family for Christmas, which that's important and it's worth the brief time we will spend in the cold. I'm done with the cold. <laughs> but. But we can't bring everybody south to spend Christmas with us in the RV because we don't have enough room for everybody in the RV. And I don't think anybody else in our family RVs. So what are you going to do? So after we head up north for a very, very, very brief time, we are headed back south. south. And that's where you're going to find us at the 2022 Tampa or I'm not sure what it's called, Super RV Show. Um, it's in it's Tampa, Florida, in Tampa. Which, whichever way you want to call it, the Tampa RV Show. Yeah, I'll get the name wrong, but it's in Tampa. It's um, at the state fairgrounds, I think is where it is. So we're gonna actually stay on the fairgrounds and spend as much time as we can in the show, looking at RVs, meeting people, cause it's all about the people and the places. Who knows, we may be looking for our next RV again. It's time this time, I think. Time to get a new RV. He always wants a new RV. It's time. I like my Fusion. I like my Fusion too, but maybe it's time for a new Fusion. Maybe it's time for something different. We'll see about that. But what we really want to talk about today is we want to talk to you guys. Do you have an RV? Because it's come to our, um, I guess we've come to know, and I can't think of the right words come to our attention that some of you don't even RV or don't have RVs. Maybe you're looking to get an RV. Um, so we wanted to talk for a minute today, won't keep you long, about choosing the right RV for you. Well, for us? Well, when we started choosing RV, we didn't go by brand specific at the time. We went by what suited us the best, which one had the best. Well, first we knew we wanted to go to Toy Hour, so that broke it down. That knocked off 90% 90, 90 of what you're going to get. And then once we started looking at toy haulers, we decided we need to look for a certain floor plan that was going to fit our needs. Not a certain brand, because I'm it not buying a certain brand just because it it's a brand. I'm well, going to buy something that's going to fit us. Well, and so for us, it came down to there were two different brands, two different floor plans. It wasn't that the same, it wasn't two brands had the same floor plan. Um, it came down to two different brands two different floor plans, similar but different. Um, and at the end of the day, we had had a Keystone before and we knew what that service was like and we liked it. We were happy with the um, travel trailer we had years ago that was a Keystone. And we just decided that weighed in and at the end of the day, that floor plan we thought was gonna be a better fit. So that's where we went. But there's a lot of factors when you think about getting an RV, there's a lot of things that come to play. So maybe you don't need a toy hauler. First of all, you need to decide like how many people's in your group. Because when we first started, there was five of us. Now there's two. And what's Sometimes funny three. about that is we started in a pop-up with five of us and now we're in this big toy hauler with two of us. How many people are you gonna have? You have to have sleeping room for all those people. You have to have enough refrigerator space and, and to, to go, feed all those people. To go back people. to the sleeping side of it, you'll see you'll see them say it sleeps 10. Sometimes I wonder how they ever and Take your 10, 10 people with you and make sure that everybody can sleep comfortably. Because four is not sleeping in my queen size bed. No, and like the dinette we had on our pop-up, you know, of course, I think manufacturers say that sleeps too. And that sleeps two kids, kids. but Us two aren't these two there. aren't fitting because it's pretty much the equivalent to a twin size bed. So make sure that it will sleep your 10. Don't take their word for it. Go in with as many of your people as you can and make sure that everybody fits comfortably. If, if, you, if it's cold or it's raining and you all have to come inside, 
and you're gonna watch TV, does everybody have a place to sit that they can see the TV? Or if you're gonna have... So that's what we honestly do when we go to the shows now. We will sit in a camper for a 25, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. We will, and I, I'm sorry if this you don't like this, but we will kick our chairs out and watch people come around and see how, how people walk through because... If you have to put your feet down in your recliner every time one of the kids wants to go to the bunk room, you don't think it's going to be a big deal, but it could be. And that's, so, that's why we, we actually try to live in the camper. We kind of move in at the show and sit for a while and let people come and go. If so if, a I see your, if I see your feet up in the middle of the, the show, I know why you're doing it. It's okay. It. And if We've somebody, seen them in people's beds, well, seen them in the shower, yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to wash their hair. Well, because showers are not always real tall. So if you're a tall person, you may not fit. So that's a big thing for you um and they're making showers smaller now that i've been seeing if it's a pull out couch and somebody is going to need to sleep on it make sure you know how to pull it out that it's functional that you can work when it's out and that those people that are supposed to sleep on it will fit so let me back up so first of all you need to decide what kind of rig you want do you want a pop-up do you want like a class a, a class b a, a super c a fifth wheel a travel trailer a toy hauler i think that's yeah, I'm not gonna drop the tent because that's not a thing, but there's like the little teardrops and whatever. So it's gonna be what you need to fit your needs. Then it's gonna be narrow it down to once you make that decision that it's, let's just say a fifth wheel. You need a bunk house, so you need to go and look at the bunk houses. And then once you find, look at all the brands. I mean, unless you're just madly in love with one, even then still, I still look at all the brands because you just never know. Somebody may have something that's the perfect floor plan for you and you didn't go look at their brand so you missed out so look at as many brands as you can research it online go to as many shows as you can which brings us to we're going to the show we're going to look we're going to look at toy haulers because that's what we love um i'm gonna of course look at the fusions because they're my favorite we'll be in a fusion booth most of the time but i'm still gonna go look at all the other key all, all the other toy haulers that other brands have to offer whether it be to try to drop a hint in someone's ear that it could be a feature that fusion could add in the future you know i don't know but you don't know until you go check everything out so we will but if there is who a, else is going to the show any of you guys know you're going when are you going if you're going let us know maybe we can try to meet up somewhere because we yeah. are going to do a lot of meetings. we're going to be there from open to close and just about every single day so and we want to meet as many people as we can we're staying on the fairgrounds at the on their property um which makes it a lot easier because we can pretty much be there open to close and we will meet hopefully any of you that are going to be staying on the fairgrounds and camping there we would love for you to say hey we're going to be there and then even when you get there and you kind of find out the sites aren't like numbered like in a campground or maybe they are i don't remember from last year but once you find out kind of the area you're in shoot us a message on social media email whatever hey this is who we are this is where we are and we would love to meet you um or in the show you know hey this is where i am we're going to be at the fusion booth a lot so you can swing by and, and just say hey introduce yourselves meet us we want to meet you but if you're not able to go so if you're not able to go to the Tampa this is show, where we're going to try to help you as much as we can to a point because we can't do it so many but. one of the things we do on our channel we've done it in the past we will continue to do it because when we were looking for rvs it was very frustrating when the floor plan we wanted wasn't at the dealership at home it was at the dealership in the next state over and who wants to drive all the way there to see one floor plan so we started doing camper tours as part of our channel if it's a new floor plan or a new brand and we think they've got something really cool we'll do a tour of that camper post it on our channel for you all to see um so if there's something that you guys want to see let us know what brand what floor plan whatever if it's there we will i mean of course if we get like hundreds of people wanting to see floor plans we can't do that but i'll get 99 of them <laughs> we will do our best um to visit as many of the campers that you all are asking about and do tours of them or if we have to just take pictures and we can send them to you i can send them to you and if you're looking at this specific camper and this specific floor plan is there something real specific you want to see like online they have all these pictures but they never show the inside of the closet in the master bedroom that kind of stuff throw that in the comments as well so that we can be real specific and get what you need and incorporate that in our video so that's it for this one. We're hoping to see many of you guys there. We want to meet up as many as you can. 
if you want us to do a video on something, you want us to show you something, comment below, let us know. And even if it's not a camper you want to see, like we're going to take some footage at the show, show you what it's all about because going, they don't need to see the food trucks. Maybe not the food trucks, but the food is pretty good. Um, but you know, like what the show is all about because the show in Tampa is a huge it's show. It's bigger than Hershey, even though Hershey says it's the largest it's RV huge. show. It's huge. Um, so I think there's a safe chance that if there is a specific something you want to see, it's going to be there and we can share it with you however works for you just let us know comment below send us something on instagram or whatever if it's just a picture or something you want to see we can send you that um and as yeah. always guys until you find us camping at the tampa show safe travels y'all